Hi, I'm Steve Craig with Shinitsu Silicones of America. I will be demonstrating on how to use silicone RTV materials for photovoltaic applications and more specifically silicone potting and sealant materials for junction boxes on PV panels. Alright, so here we have a junction box for a solar panel. Uh, most of the junction boxes are designed to use a, a sealant to help bond uh, into the back of the panel and to aid in prevention of moisture from getting inside of the junction box. So what we're going to do is we're going to dispense some of the Shinitsu KE45, which is a one-part RTV sealant to the junction box, and then place it on, uh, on this glass sheet. Now usually the junction box will be bonded to a, a PVF film or a FPE film, but for, uh, just for the sake of demonstration here, we're going to use the glass substrate. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to dispense around the perimeter here of the junction box itself. Just sealing the edges. And then we're going to do one right down the middle. Alright, so we're then going to apply it to the glass. Alright. Now the KE45 has excellent adhesion to a lot of the different backings and to the junction box resin itself. Uh, and it cures when it's exposed to ambient humidity. The, the higher the humidity, the faster the cure speed of the, of the sealant itself. Okay, now that the KE45 is sitting for a few minutes, let's go ahead and focus on the silicone potting materials for junction boxes. Shinitsu manufactures a, a variety of different potting materials. Uh, the ones for PV applications uh, is the KE200 series, and that the 200 series is broken up into two groups. We have the KE200 and KE200F, uh, which are our UL94 V1 rated silicone potting materials. Uh, then we also have KE210 and KE210F, which are our UL94V0 rated potting materials. Now, both of those groups have very low viscosity. They both cure very quickly at room temperature and also develop adhesion to the junction box resin and to the backing as well. Uh, before our demo, we're going to use the KE210F. Uh, it is a 10 to 1 mix ratio by weight moisture cure system that uh, develops again good adhesion to the various substrates. Uh, it's a unique chemistry. It actually cures uniformly throughout whereas some of the other systems may still uh, cure from the outside layer on in. So this is a very unique uh, system. It was developed so that when you dispense the potting material uh, within about 20 minutes after dispense, you can actually take the junction box and the whole panel assembly vertically uh, so that you can do your uh, inspection and cleaning process. And the material is not going to flow and it's not going to slump. So that was uh, one of the key characteristics when the material was developed uh, that we had in mind. So let's now prepare to dispense the KE210 CAT210 potting material. First we will prime the cartridge to eliminate any air inside of it. So we'll take some of the material, just again making sure that there's no air left in there. Then we'll attach the static mixer to the end of the cartridge. The static mixer uh, is actually what mixes the material as it's extruded out of the cartridge. So again, just dispense enough to the point where you don't see any air bubbles in it. Okay. And now we're ready to go ahead and dispense inside of the junction box. So what we're going to do is we're going to dispense slowly, uh, trying to minimize the amount of air entrapment uh, during the dispense process. As you can see here, the KE210 flows very nicely into the junction box and any, any entrapment around the uh, undercuts or components, uh, those bubbles typically just fall out, come out on their own.
Now that we've uh, finished dispensing the KE210F, let's go ahead and start the clock. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it sit for about 20 minutes now. Uh, then we'll come back, we'll take a look at it, we'll position the junction box vertically and demonstrate that it does not slump or flow uh, after that 20 minute period. All right, we have now reached the uh, 20 minute mark and the KE210F is now cured enough that when we put it vertically here, you will notice that it does not slump uh, or sag, which is a critical characteristic. Uh, it'll still take about another three to five days for it to reach final cure, meaning uh, it reaches its final hardness and full adhesion, uh, and full adhesion has developed. You, the uh, humidity freeze testing, damp heat testing, and thermal cycling testing uh, on the assembled part should wait till about five days after the initial dispense of the KE210F to ensure that the material is actually fully cured. Uh, so even though it does look uh, fully cured and it is uh, firm, uh, it still has uh, a little bit of ways to go in terms of uh, the final hardness and again, uh, adhesion does take some time to develop. I hope this demonstration has given you a better understanding of the steps needed when using silicone, RTV, sealants, and potting materials for photovoltaic applications. Should you have any other questions, please feel free to contact us at 330-630-9860. And you can also find us on the web at www.shinitsusilicones.com.